everyone, and welcome back to another one of my Beam and G Drive videos. I've not played this game for a while, and um, I thought I'd come back on it and um, I see a few new vehicles that I can play around with. I know it's all an ambulance, but also it's all in this dry fan trailer. So, um, I'm going to spawn this in, and press L to connect them up. After you go into the truck first, once you press L, they will uplift part of it in there where the trailer connects. Highlights. So now no, no trailer should connect, but now I press L and trailer should connect. So, um, let's back this up into there. Quite far apart actually. There we go. What I'm going to do is not drive it straight away. I've got a little plan I want to do. I'm going to quickly switch into here now. Press enter. Open the doors up. Bump that into now. Try to get it flat. Then at the door a little. Right, try back this up a bit, a bit straighter. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty straight. It's not going to go any closer than that, unfortunately. I'm going to go back onto the truck and we'll spawn in some vehicles and hopefully try to get them into um, the truck. I'm going to go for MC82, well, not 280, but 500E first. Let's get that spawn new. Right, I'm going to try to put this in the back. do before I put it in there. I'm just gonna go pick it in the skirt. It's gonna be vehicle number one. It's been enough for vehicle in there. I think we should be able to fit three. So go for a slightly bigger one now. Yeah we'll put a fan in there. Um let's go for the off road fit fan. Spawn new. So, in this one, they should all be in line. So, um, you shouldn't have any spawning issues in. And we'll do one more. I think we'll go for a small one. Oh, quite small. The COVID hey, is pretty small as well. Um, rally. I think it needs to be high off the ground to get in easily. And spawn new. Right, let's put all these in the, in the truck, hopefully. Lost the thought. Make sure that goes up tight to the edge. And I didn't put the handbrake on the truck, did I? No, I'm pretty sure I put the hammer on. But yeah, so as you notice when you put the hammer on a truck, a uh, trailer, oh, she has a handbrake come on. So, that's pretty good. Get rid of this soft, hopefully. Oh dear. I'm gonna get tangled up in it. Gonna get tangled up. Yep, got a flat tyre already. So I'm trying to get this lined up again. Right, 
push it forward a bit. What I'll do then, take the handbrake off, roll it forward a bit. Oh, wrong vehicle. Might help if I um, take the handbrake off now, on instead. Push down, handbrake back on. Might actually drive back up a bit more. Right, that'll do, and then we'll put the fan in now. You know, it's at now. Oh, yeah, right, the fan is in. And the last one. Quite a big gap, really. Hopefully, we can. Oh. Right. Put that in there like so. And break on. Close the doors. And we have three vehicles just about in this side of this trailer. So it's pretty big. Right, so let's go to. Um, Truck, there we go. Take the handbrake off, and we're gonna have a bit of fun, hopefully. No, we wheel doesn't let us down too much. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to try to flip the trailer with all the cars in there. So, get this around the corner, hopefully, and then start swinging it. Come on, a oh. bit more speed, and hopefully, we'll get here flip. Basically, we're going to try to damage the cars as much as possible in this side of the trailer. Oh, nearly. Nearly. Let's try that again. I think it need, need to release a um, more powerful truck, really, though. You know, get a bit more speed up. might have tried to do some hit one of the ramps to get it to flip. I don't think it's gonna flip like that unfortunately so um, what I'll try to do is hit a ramp and then hopefully that will um, get the truck to to fall over. I'll right, we'll try anything right here, hopefully. Way. Nice. Every car is on the side. I've got a broken bonnet. It's in the, the murk. And so the boot's opened. Apart from that, it's not too much damage. The trailer itself. And it's got some damage to the side. So there's a landing part of, I'm not sure what it's called, but um, I'm sure there'll be a truck driver who knows exactly what it's called watching. Anyway, let's try to do some ramps on here. Yeah, so we're going to do some ramps on here and hopefully um, cause a bit more damage to it as well. Might go over that rocky road, well, the off road part of it there, the shallow part, after I've done this part here. Had a bit of breakage in there. Not too much by the looks of it. Now he's gonna ramp over here a little bit more. 
and then what I might do after is then put a bigger vehicle against the wall and then try ramming it with, with the truck. Get any um, nice damage. I said it will sleep the part of the cab has come loose. That'd be a nice little bit here. Oh, that sounded nice. Let's get that back on and see if we can push the mert back in. There we go, it's pushing back in. Just. Oh, kind of stuck in there. We're stuck with that. Uh, and pull it out of the way. Hopefully we connect it again. Yes, there we go. There you go, don't go under. This one is a bit too small. I thought I might be able to, be able to make that, but oh well. Unfortunately couldn't. Let's do a bit more, a few more jumps on this and then um, we reload it again and um, smash into something before this way, you know. Let's see if we can find a big jump somewhere doing that. I would try to do the vertical loop there, but. Um, Unfortunately, this we didn't get enough speed up to be able to do that, so um, we'll try something else. Might even try to do that ramp now, actually. Go off this again, and um, then. Something is broken. It's struggling to move at the minute. Oh, the trade is bent. Struggling to move the train now. Yeah, we struggle to move now. Let's see if that help. Not very much at all. Um, no, no, I see that helps. Nope, we're not going anywhere, so what I might do you now is to um, get the cars out and do a sort of damage control on them. So, we'll get this one out, hopefully. Let's lower that down a bit, gonna completely destroy them. Maybe we can come up with a better idea then. Um, do you put up to 100 and rip the trailer apart instead? Right, now we're going to see the cars a bit better. Do this side as well. And that one. Right, let's go to Merc. Will it still move? Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Anyway, that was not too good of condition. The fan. You can press the right button. Take the brake off. Yeah, the fan is all moves. Uh, 
and the Corvette looks pretty battered. But it will move now. Yep, let's all move. And it's pretty easy to handle still. It does fear to the left, but... It's still driving pretty good. And then, I wonder if the truck moves now. Oh, that's caught around there on the bottom. Or anything. Oh, the truck still moves. So, it's not too bad. Right, so we're going to reset this all quickly and then. Um... Right, so now we're on there. Apart from the Merc, we should have accidentally reset over on there. Needs to come back over here. Right, let's uh, get back to the truck. Press L. Reattach the trailer. Go to the truck. Oh, I actually leave them open. So I'm going to need to um, put the cars in them anyway. anyway so. Too many truck games. Near enough, perfect. Back it in one more time. Yeah, I do. I played too many truck games and know how to refer them pretty well. Oh, that's again. In with the Merc. Take the brake off. I think that's all well. I pretty much own two of these in real life. Not this exact model, but it's basically the same car. Why is that? Oh, he's resetting over now. He's bought it in over here, didn't I? Right. That's definitely sp should be spawning in over here now. It's a bit tricky to get the cars in, but and actually sort it again. How bad is that? This hopefully shouldn't be in too much. And let's start it again. Yes, there we go. It should still be in them pretty good. So, um, if the truck, if it, yeah, it does. Right, load the fan. Oh, I was not even looking at the screen then. Let's try again. Fan goes in pretty easily, which is good. Bash up against the Merc. And the last one. Again, it's done that, so no problem. Give it a little helping hand. Put the brake on. Go to the trailer. Shut them in. And then, and do pull away a bit after the brake turns off. And now I'm going to load in the vehicle, and it's going to be crashing too. 
see how much damage we can cause. We're probably only doing this just once, due to taking so long to reload the cars and other vehicles in. So we're gonna smash into an ambulance. Hmm. Hmm. Seem to be okay in there. Alright, well, that's not in anymore. Bit of damage. I'll reload it when I get over there. Do like the ambulance, little door. New little stretcher in there. Alright, we're gonna park this over here and then um, smash into it. And I probably will do another video at a later date, it's just the ambulance. I just wanna do it, I'm gonna There we go. Right, in this cut up. So I'm gonna park this straight up against the wall. Alright, now we're gonna get a truck and we're gonna have a bit of fun with it. So now we've got quite a bit of weight in there with the trailer and the truck and the three cars. Still getting up to speed pretty quick. Something just broke. We went on the cars windows. Can't really see which one, but I'm not really bothering me at the minute anyway. Hopefully, gain quite a bit of speed along here. I'm trying to turn it very gently so we keep that speed up. And there's the ambulance. Sixty miles an hour. Come on. There we go. Get it back into line. Yep. There we go. See this ambulance. It's going to get quite badly damaged. Hopefully. There we go. Impact. making a dent on the network in panel there. Let's speed this up a little bit. Or fully. Yeah. Ambulance, it's not very healthy. I'm gonna try to pull this trailer off. Right, let's see if we can get the truck a minute. There should be the truck in there. And it still moves. I'm right, gonna reset the truck a minute, get out of the way. Anyway, um, get to the ambulance again. Um,
I didn't push the wrong. No, I didn't push the wrong button. Hmm. Everything seems to be not moving for some reason. Must have glitched out and not told me. But anyway, as you can see, the ambulance is mangled. Not very good condition at all. Can we see him um, in here? Oh, she's different on it, it's kind of frozen. Or am I still running in? Yep, still at home. So it's sped up for the ambulance, but nothing else. So we have to track back again. My mistake. I don't know why I'm moving that anyway. I'm not going to need it. But this trail, I'm pretty sure, will still move. It's not going to be affected by the looks of it. Let's get the cars inside. The Merc looks not too bad. What I'm going to do quickly, I'm going to have one more crash and then um, call that it. So, go back to the trailer, shut the doors. Nice bit of speed up here in the truck now. Shame we can't do that with the trailer on, but probably given a long, long enough run up, he probably could. And that's all connected up. Let's go. I'm just going to head down the other end now and um. Track floor it into that end. When he's doing that, let that run off into the distance. Nice, it's ruined. Go back to the truck. This truck's going to say goodbye again. But well, now there's going to be no ambulance, there's going to be no crumpled zone. So it should inflict more damage to the truck and the car from the side. So let's see what happens now. Not even going to sp speed it up. The truck is gone. Yeah, it's not working anymore. The car from the side also looks pretty dead. Break the trailer apart. See him um, damage. Unfortunately, clipping into the cars. Shame. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, all the vehicles inside are probably right off, apart from the fan, which should look like took a bit of minor damage. The Merc, well, no, it's not going to drive. Look at that. That's bent in half near enough. The Colfit eh, might drive. Let's give things a little room. Pull. Up to the door. Put it down by the chassis. Yeah, the fan is still drives. Take the brake off. Yeah, that still drives. That obviously doesn't drive. At all. Anymore. Yeah, got it uprighted. Kind of. No, it's quite funny like that, actually. Yeah, it's the Merc. Doesn't even turn on. I believe it's the Merc. Or it's the truck. Nope, it's the truck. Now we're on the Merc. Oh, the wheels to move. 
Let's see if it does drive. I'm trying to carefully pull it off. Action. Door. Try to detach the grill. There we go. I think it would drive if we could bend it back down again. Let's try to quickly bend it down. I know the fiddle's getting quite long now, but um Yeah, a bit of bending and it drives. Not bad at all. It's still pretty nippy as well and controllable. The front will be a bit broken but it's still reasonably controllable. Good enough speed. Yeah, so I'm going to call that an end to this video. Um, hope you enjoyed watching, and um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and tell your friends to be well. It's been Hadrian on and you, and um, hope you enjoyed the video.